I had a question about when you got the part, did you look at any of the original Galactica? Just no. to, okay. No, I didn't. It would have gotten in the way. Yeah. Uh, you know, over the years, I'm an actor. I'm not a writer, and I'm, I'm not a director. It, it, years ago, a friend of mine, uh, Clark, is not with us anymore. He, um, came into Toronto, uh, he was the artistic director at Theatre Calgary, and he came into town and said, Hogan, i got a script for you, you we, we've got to do this play, and he gave me the script and I read it, and it was ridiculous. I mean, it, and I didn't phone him back and I avoided the calls. Finally he got me by the ear and he said, so what did you think? And I said, man, are you committed? Do you have to do it? Because that's <laughs> stupid. I mean, what, what's with that? And he said, you're the last person in Canada I expect to hear that from, I'm coming over. So he came over and we went over and I said, no, this is nuts. And so they mounted the play, I went and saw it. I saw it four times. It was The Tooth of Crime by Sam Shepard. Mm -hmm. And it's this amazing piece, but I don't have that. I, 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 if someone sends me a script, then uh, I'll read it and then meet with the director and then realize, wow, that is an amazing script. I, I don't have that. I'm not a writer. And I'm not a producer and I'm not a director. This is, I'm a journeyman actor and this is not that it's limited. We, you know, in uh, making cabinets, the guys who make the gnaw or whatever, we all fit in as a unit together. So, uh, so I've never had any uh, opinion of the law. Uh, Thank you. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. Hey, uh, my turn. Uh, <laughs> Okay, in your development of Thai, I guess before the uh, series started, were there any nuances or things that you considered putting into his personality that didn't end up appearing in the character, like you know, in the in the end when it finally finally went for went to filming? Were there any aspects that you experimented with uh, that perhaps were aspects of the script or the description of the character that you, you know? I don't using? think so because they didn't know what they were going to do with Thai. A lot of the characters, they didn't know what uh, it was going uh, And the genius of Michael Reimer certainly paid off for them in the creating of these characters. When I went for the audition, um, uh, Michael made it clear they were it went in development. They had broad strokes. It was becoming a, a decommissioned ship. It was going to be for training. Uh, and I was one of the senior guys who had been through it all, uh, battle-wise. Uh, and I was just this hard-nosed guy who was a senior on the, on the ship. The, I guess the drinking was already uh, considered, but we didn't know how uh, much that was that was going to be involved. Reimer, uh, when I did, I almost didn't audition uh, for the role, uh, because I thought, I don't really interested in, in doing that, a recreation of Battlestar Galactica, but then found out Michael Reimer was involved. I went, like, whoa. And that makes me sound, oh, I don't want it to sound wrong that I that I would don't audition for things that I don't want to do. I mean, I don't necessarily my career have done very little that I didn't believe in or want to do. But I, so I don't know if it was when and at what point I found out Reimer was involved or I decided I would go to the audition. But Reimer, I had seen Angel Baby, and if you haven't seen that movie, you should watch it. it that's what put him on the map. It's an independent film out of Australia, and. Uh, I had tried to audition for him on other couple of other movies, but he was never in the room. It was just on tape. So he was in the room, and we auditioned. We auditioned there for half an hour. As an actor, when you work with good directors who like working with actors, the audition process is fabulous because whether you do the role or not, you, you've had this experience, and so has the director. A lot of people say, "Well, you're an actor; you shouldn't have to audition anymore." No, I want to audition. Uh, if, uh, so because I'm auditioning the director as well as they're auditioning me, and. Uh, like Norma Bailey will come into town, or Ann Wheeler. I've done so many films with those guys. But I, I want to audition, and we have a great time because we know each other's work, and, and when they tell me about the script, and I give my ideas for it. So I knew that the, there, was, there was kind of an open-ended thing, and so we created the character together. We had, which you never do, we had meetings prior to Principal Photography. We had meetings with Reimer, meetings with Reimer and Eddie, Ron Moore and David Icke, etc., talked an awful lot and uh, socialized together. And then um, shooting the miniseries, I, I've said before, when, when you rehearse a play, they, it, you rehearse for three weeks and the, it's, it's, this, it's the safest place in the world to be uh, in the rehearsal hall. And you rehearse for eight hours a day for three weeks. And for the final week, it's 12 hours a day. 
and you make mistakes, you make a fool of yourself, you bond, and you're with these people for eight hours a day. So by the time the heads of department come in later on in the rehearsal period uh, to watch a run-through, uh, you're letting them in on what you've got, but they're all part of the process. And then by the time previews and you're ready for opening, you're ready. Uh, Reimer created that, especially workshops, where you don't have to perform it. They're, we do a lot of those as actors, and they're the most safe. That's the most safe environment that you ever can be involved in artistically. The Reimer created that atmosphere, you know, and uh, so we developed that. And any ideas that we came up with, they were most. I'm more of a, a, a Got actor, I guess you said. I don't know how you'd say it. I'm a very physical character actor, uh, and uh, I have to go step away if people are too cerebral and they want to analyze uh, things too much. I think, well, I, I, let's just do it and see what happens. When we do it, then we'll uh, we'll know it. So Reimer did that. So by the time uh, the miniseries was over, we had pretty we were we were solid. It was like we were ready for the audience, and uh, the first couple of uh, episodes of the first season, especially 33 when we, we went back at it. By the time, and Reimer directed that as well, by the time he was ready to hand the directing reins over to another director, it's kind of like we had been in a cocoon. It's like, you know, you were developing in this, and then by the time the end of 33, we could spread our wings and you could bring these other directors, we're ready, let's go, we can fly. And the character developments, they they all just sort of happen, I can't say spontaneously, but each script, you go, wow, is that it's interesting. Because a lot of things in a series like that, you find out that I've been married for how long? I never knew that, or, or things like that. And the, the beginning of season three, during the flashbacks, when Adama is shot, and I take over the ship, and I have these flashbacks. You know, as an actor, you, you get together with your other, the castmates and the director, and you discuss backstory and how long you've been together and what you really think of this or that. And that's what you just talk about. But in the beginning of season two, Eddie and I got to, to shoot, to actually film our meeting. And we got to shoot a lot of scenes that are deleted scenes that are, will be in the DVD package. We got to actually do that. And normally what you do is you talk about it. You go, I think it would be this way, but... We had the luxury of uh, doing that. It was, it, that was amazing. So as an actor, the whole thing has been an incredible gift. It, it will never happen again. It was a movie that took five, five years to shoot. And we had the same crew for five years. The same shooters. So you would know uh, while you're doing it, if I'm reaching over to do this, and then, and then we're, we're going, I can say to Timmy, the operator, say, did you get that, Timmy? He, he'd go, no, well, then I'll just, did you get it? Yeah, okay, we're going. So, and the poor new, new actors and said, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> You got it good. You got it okay. Keep it. it like it was just everybody. But it will never happen again. They would do wonderful work, etc. But uh, something as unique and groundbreaking, and uh, it's the only time I've ever been in a show where I'm so aware of post-production while we are actually shooting it. Bear McCurry's soundtrack was another character on that set. How often do you get that? Never, unless you're Spielberg or Coppola or something. You use the same composers, and they talk for months. Or they shoot.